all jacked up. About to pop the wheels off. Lug nuts. Do lefty, I believe that's going to require me to do it this way. Okay. So I'm just removing the caliper bolts right now. They're, they're 14 millimeter bolts. Eventually, you'll get it out. I'm just going to need it put up in your hand. Can you hit yourself in the fucking knee? Alright. Wow. So I'm gonna hurt myself getting this one out. Caliper off, and I just rest it here. As long as it doesn't fall, we're good. So these pads wore unevenly, very unevenly. They still had meat on it, so you didn't destroy the rotors. Those should be 17s. Pretty sure these are gonna need on tighter. Let's see here. Put this back here for now. So I get that one out. These work in Lefty Lucy. Bracket bolts for the caliper. Drop the bolt like that. It's back there. The bracket should come off easily. The rotor should come off. That sometimes it won't. Beat the thing. Is there another screw in there? Nope. There's a coating on here to prevent it from rusting. If you don't clean it, you will not have any brakes that are smooth. Will be too smooth. There we go. The 
disc is clean. I typically do not spray the hat here because it's not going help it not rust. And I'm going to match up the screw hole here. If everything goes right, that's how it works. And then you put the rotor screw back in, the retainer screw. You don't have to, Han only does it, so it makes it easier to put the freaking things together. The wheel will keep it in place. All right. Now we're gonna go ahead and grease these guys up. We're gonna clean it first. Just hold on to the rubber, twist the caliper slider pins. Clean them before I put new grease on it. Pin slide and the brake pads wear evenly. Just push it in. millimeter bolts that we took off. Put them in by hand. Get the pain to align. down with the hammer. You don't have to go nuts. Right. Now, we're going to match up the brake pads here and the orientation that they came out. So this big circle indicates that the caliper is pushing on this side and it has the little squealer so we're going to match up the orientation with the pad I'm not going to use those so this is the squealer pad you'll notice that they are not the same so we're going to go for the other squealer pad now they match up we'll go ahead and slide it in place here Try to make it look easy. Alright. And then we're gonna get the other. These won't matter what orientation because they do not have the squealer on them. And then Alright. Boom. rubbing. Good stuff. Now we need to go ahead and compress the caliper. This has to be squeezed in in order for you to fit the new pads. Just use the old pad. In my case they do make a specific tool to go ahead and compress this but I'm just going to use a basic C-clamp to do this. 
all you have to do is wind it. You gotta get it in the right spot. And then hopefully this will not run off. But it probably will. It's not gonna go. Okay, my C clamp is kinda ghetto. Alright, let's try this again. There we go. You're gonna feel a bit of a resistance because there is hydraulic pressure on this. See the piston is compressing. You want to get it all the way to the bottom, flat, flat out, until you can't push it anymore. Sometimes it'll fight you. All right, so we're stopped all the way completely. Take that off. Take the pad out, and you want to make sure you do not kink the line and that this goes on without any resistance. Now what you're gonna have to do is push those slider pins in. Boom. And put the new, I mean, screws, caliper holding. Got our screws there. And you wanna get them on both ends because if you don't and you try to tighten it, it might swing back and hit you. Now, you do not have to go crazy tight on these. Okay, a couple taps, the third, all right. pump the brakes so that the pedal stiffens up. Right now the pedal's going to go straight to the floor. Keep pumping it until it stiffens up. 